they'll be added to you. If God did it and he getting glory from it today, if you start operating in your God nature, your God attributes, watch this. You going to be getting the same thing. That God get, you're going to start getting praises. You're going to start getting worship. That's the truth of the fact of the matter. I know what I'm talking about. You will start getting worship. If Abraham, Sarah called him Lord, and she started honoring Abraham, my God, find somebody to say Lord to you. Like, oh, like, king of lord like hey you humble you submissive you understand not that i'm had dominion in that way like that but that's a good thing for somebody to say you are my god come on out of here that would be awesome like oh now they looking for you to supply all they needs and god said thou shall have no other god before me but watch this you got to understand something. Everybody ain't in that position. See, if you know God as a person, okay, that's cool. But see, the time will come where God, he shares glory with no man. So that's the same way we're supposed to be. You ain't got to share your glory with no man. You more than a conqueror, so you a God. So if you a God, God gonna know you gonna get glory. Come on out of here. You gonna get some glory. If he supplying your needs, then he expecting you to supply other folk need to do what he been doing for you. If he, if you going to him and saying, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rise up in judgment shall be condemned, then guess what? God wants you to tell other people, I, I'm a God and no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rise up against you shall not be condemned. Oh, you ain't hearing me. There are some things that people will start really seeing that we made in the image of God because they'll start seeing that you not operating in the God as a God. God say he's standing in the congregation in the mighty amidst the, in the midst of the gods. See, if you in the kingdom of God, you are the God. You a mighty person. You can do mighty things. See, you can do mighty things. And see, people will get to honor you. Look, with the day when you start becoming a God and we're living by the way of the spirit, not by religion. Hello, somebody. It didn't say living by religion. It say living by the spirit. Living by the spirit, by way of the spirit, don't mean that you had to disappear or anything like that. But it just means that, hey, you're living a righteous lifestyle. You ain't gone, but you here in the flesh, but you in the spirit. Your flesh thoughts is gone, but now here come the spirit side of things. The flesh is carnal. Spirit is life. So if you have the spirit, now you able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think. You able to be omnipresent at the same time because when you pray for folk, the same spirit, you can be in one area, not the same spirit on, on the same person. That's, that's on you. Because if you sow and you sow into a righteous man, you will reap what a righteous man has. You sow into a prophet, you will reap what that prophet said. If I say you're going to be established in 7 to 14 days, you better believe it. You better believe 7 to 14 days or 21 days or 20 days is going to happen that you're going to be established by faith. Because I'm a God. That's the difference. See, I'm a God. So when I know I'm a God, come on out of here. Then I know it's a people that's going to be looking to me to get some things done. So I'm going to go to the God that I serve. I'm going to say, God, 
I'm a God, but I still need your guidance and directions for the people that you've given me. Jesus was a God, but he still went to the heavenly father, the God, the the father and say, father, I pray for these that you have given me. Oh, you ain't hearing me. You got some power today. You're going to start getting some glory. If you're giving God the glory, everything God created, he want you now to receive those blessings. Come on out of here. God want you to receive those blessings. You know, you're not just in a position now where you're doing archbishop stuff and bishop stuff and prophet and evangelist, pastor, teacher. No, you pressing for the high calling. What is that to do what God doing? Never taking your focus off where you think that you can do it by yourself. Because you, cause you are God. You can say, well, hey, there's no need for me to do that that way because I'm a God now. Huh. But see, you don't want to get to that position where you don't need God to help you. See, you got to remember that my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. See, but some folk don't really believe in a God. And and furthermore, they don't believe that you can be one. But you are God. I'm trying to raise up some gods. You understand? There, and then, not thou shalt serve no other God before me. That God say you can't serve no other God before him. Meaning, you got to give him the glory. Once you get him the glory, then everything else can fall in its proper place. Come on out of here. As long as you giving God his glory, the other God that he lift up, they going to get their portion. But he said, just don't do that before you give me my glory. I know people going to get theirs, but just don't give them my portion. I deserve my portion. I deserve to hear from you. Come on out of here. I deserve to hear your praise. I deserve for you to meditate. I deserve for you to do some things. Don't put these other individuals that's supposed to, that he getting ready to bless, to be God's unto you before him. If you were a leader, see, I see to say the leaders, you follow a leader. See, could watch this. When Moses was delivering the people, God did what? He made God. He made Moses a God to Pharaoh. He told him, I'm going to make you a God to Pharaoh. I'm going to make you the head and not the tail. Come on out of here. Above only and not beneath the lender and not the borrower. God wants to make you the head and not the tail. Above only and not my God. You want to be above only. That's when you become a God. Oh, my God. I said, oh, my God. When you become the head, you become a God. You become a creator. You become the chief executive officer. When you become the head and not the tail, when you become above only, that's scripture. Above only is a promise that's in Deuteronomy 28. All this is in Deuteronomy 28. The Deuteronomy 28 blessings. So here it is. You're the head and not the tail. Above only, not beneath the lender, and you ain't the borrower. Why? Because you got God who about to supply all your need, but you know you ain't going to put no other God before him. You might start giving other gods they credit, but God say, don't put nobody else before me. As long as you can understand you putting it, you giving me my glory, I'll make time for them to have theirs. Oh, come on out of here. As long as you give God his portion then he'll bless you with yours don't the scripture say don't exalt yourself more than you ought to but watch this what if god has told you to arise oh god and judge some folks be like 
Well, hey, that's that God. I'm not that. Well, guess what? I'm that. So God told me to arise and judge the earth for thou shalt inherit all nations. Because guess what? God is going to already inherit all nations. Come on out of here. He already got all nations. But what he trying to get you to do, if you the meek, if you a meek, then you the, you a God. Because guess what? The meek shall inherit the earth. So put that together. Oh my God. Put that together. If the meek shall inherit the earth, then Psalms 82 say this. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for thou shall inherit all nations. All nations is in the earth. So put it together. If you shall inherit all nations of the earth, come on out of here. That's a God thing. And so here it is. You inherit all nations of the earth, then you, the meek, shall inherit the earth. So what he God is saying, saying, God, if you want to rise up, you about to have everything that you want. I'm about to give everything in the earth to you. If you would just seek me and deny yourself, I'm gonna supply all stand. What God is about to do. But God is about to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask. It ain't no time to give up or give in. Child of God, it's time to press like you never pressed before. People might have said it's over for you, but they about to be surprised the strength that you get ready to have because you know the joy of the Lord is your strength. Just because somebody else gave up and did this, that, and the other, they might not have repented, but you can repent and you can press on and they're going to see the glory of God upon your life. Come on and give God some glory begin to glorify the God of heaven and the earth come on out of here psychological warfare the earth belongs to God if you make it better than hell God's there life ain't been fair giving up is not an option been there and back around you want war show it up I ain't backing down and no question who I stand for Resurrected, no longer underground. Your door fails, a door of hearing. Can you hear me now? Oh, so who you fooling now? Girls, bust walls up. I gave you life. There ain't nothing but air between us. It's a love of lust. I'll make it more angel dust. You almost made me cuss. You're not able why? Cause you're going off that cocaine. Come against my people again. I'll make sure you have no rain. Blow the whistle. I use an airplane as a missile. I'll wipe your whole family out with no pistol. Get him, got him, get him, got him, get him, got him, get him, got him. Tell you Satan's head will be bruised by the sun Not the one in the sky, the one who I lift up high Girl, you ain't no God, one swing up from the sword of the Lord Tell the flesh goodbye I said repent, don't you ask me why I have my way in the world, well hey girl, that girl is not your girlfriend If Satan lose, then who win? I'm gonna give up all life Who do you think you've been schooling, false?